it's been really busy this week, y'all. Um, I noticed my route been really busy the past two weeks. Florida has um changed. When I say Florida changed, um, we used to be able to predict in Florida, like the busy season, but now it seems like we can't really get a grip on it. You know, um, usually this time is busy, but it seems like so many people is moving down to Florida that it's getting crazy to do, to be a food service driver in Florida is, is not an easy task, especially with the weather, right? <clears throat> Yesterday I was doing a stop at this one particular stop. I'm looking around at all the license plates, right? And I'm very observant. I seen a um, tag for Massachusetts. I seen a New York tag. Um, what else did I see? Colorado. So people are coming. A lot of people coming on vacations. Um, of course, Canadians, they're coming down. And of course, I run a route that's really close to the beach. Um, in those routes, usually this time of year, these routes are really, really busy. Sometimes it get kind of crazy. So the point of this video, man, is to, um, tell all the new drivers that's in food service now or coming to food service. Whenever it gets busy, I know this is going to say cliche, this is going to sound very cliche. Whenever it gets busy in food service, the only advice I can give you is just to keep on moving, keep on pushing, keep on going. It's going to be many rough days. It's going to be rough days. It's going to be days where you feel like quitting. It's going to be days where you feel like giving up. You know what I mean? Um, just keep it moving. You know, keep on moving. You're going to get better. Um, day by day, you will definitely be better at what you do, right? Stay consistent, stretch. It's very important that you stretch in the morning, you know what I mean? Um, I'm here talking and sometimes I forget to stretch, you know? Try to eat some breakfast. If you could, I know sometimes it's rough for us. At least have yourself some tea in the morning. Put some warm in your stomach or some coffee, whatever it is to get you going. Just grab a little bite, something to keep your body going. Because you got to understand that these trucks that we drive, it needs fuel, right? Guess what? Our body needs fuel also, right? To keep going. As you get older the more and more your body gonna need that fuel you know your body's like the less likely your body is working off that adrenaline mm -hmm. right so don't be discouraged you know what i'm saying um it's gonna be days where you're out there six seven eight o'clock at night you're going to need help and there's gonna be no help right Believe it or not, the way how these companies work, they're sending the help to drivers that are struggling the most or drivers that have the most um, work workload, right? So believe it or not, if you're out there, if you're getting upset because you're not getting no help, look at the bright side. They value, value you enough where they think that you don't need the help. So that's a good thing. You know what I mean? And they value, these companies value everybody. But I'm just saying that they, they send the help according to who needs it the most. Right? It's going to be days where you go to work. I'm talking about the busy season now, right? It's going to be days where you go to work. You're supposed to start at like, let's just say you're supposed to start at three. 
Sometimes your load might not be ready till four, five, six, even seven o'clock. And again, you're probably gonna want to quit, but don't quit. Um, don't be a quitter. You know what I mean? Cause the real life is rough. You know what I'm saying? Food service is tough, but real life is tougher, right? So just hang in there, right? It's gonna be. You're gonna have days where you come to work, you get to your first stop, and you're 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 gonna see your load is probably gonna shift, pallet probably gonna be on the ground, right? Again, you're gonna wanna quit. But don't be a quitter. Just hang in there. You know what I mean? Food service is rough. Real life is rougher. You know what I mean? One of the things you're going to experience with most of these companies, they have what you call a blackout. What is a blackout? Let me tell you what a blackout is. A blackout is a period of time where some of these companies recognize that they're so busy that they're not able to give you the vacation days that you want. You're going to get upset. You're going to want to quit. You're going to want to leave your food service company go with another one. But guess what? Everybody got some of these days, right? It's going to be a day where you want to take a day off. And you can't. Because they're not able to give you the day off. You know what I mean? It's going to be mornings where you feel like calling out. Now, I can't tell you whether to call out or not. That's not my job, too. But all I can tell you is to do what's best for you. You know what I mean? I like to make myself available. And the reason I like to make myself available for work, because when I put in a day off, nine out of ten times, I really need that day off. And I expect to get that day off because I always make myself available. Right? You're going to see your case count go way up. Maybe some of you new drivers are taking out six to 700 cases. You might see your case count go up 800 cases, even 900. If you work for Cisco, good luck. Um, you're going to see that your total amount of stops, that's going to go up also. Not, on the flip note, not necessarily some of the guys with those heavy routes, not necessarily when it comes to a stop count. Like, for instance, me. What I'm noticing on my route is that my stops is, is coming down. Like, the number of stops I got is coming down. But my case count is going way up, right? One very important thing that I'm going to share with you new drivers, right? Every single customer, when it's busy, every single customer is going to like, they're going to try to push you. When I say push you, meaning that they're going to drill you while you're late, ask you all type of questions, this and that, making it seem like their their, their delivery is the only delivery on the um, trailer. To stay professional. And keep on working don't let one customer push you because at the end of the day to us every single customer is equally equally important now when you look at the business point of food service of course of course some customers are bringing more money for the companies than others so when it comes when if you want to sit here and talk about business of course some customer is more important to the company but for us as drivers when it comes to driving safe when it comes to being a safe driver out there for us we have to treat everybody equal you know why because we don't want to be out here rushing and, and getting our minds off off track because all it takes is one distraction when you're out there driving and boom that's it you have a major accident your license done 
manslaughter, end up in jail or something. So don't let no customers rush you. It's going to be, you're going to get the phone calls from dispatch is going to go way up, right? And don't get frustrated. They're just doing their job. That's what they get paid to do, right? So most of the dispatchers that I work with are, um, they're, they're, they're females. And if you know females, they're very persistent when it comes to work they're very persistent and consistent at what they do so it is not their fault they're just doing their job right so don't be mad at them um we just got to be a professional they're being a professional doing their job so it's not like they're trying to pick at you they just want to know where you at so they can relate it to somebody and um communication so the customer can be in loop you know what i mean sometimes the customer just want to hear like even though they know the tr truck's gonna be late sometimes they just want to hear a particular time you know what i mean maybe maybe they got the the put it away guy maybe he's supposed to go home at three or something and they want to know if the truck is going to be there after three so they can send him home and have somebody else put up the delivery so communication is a key in the food service industry and I try my best to um, communicate with everybody and respect everybody that I work with right so you know nowadays I don't really make much food service videos because I put out so many videos but to me this video right here it was very important for me to put this out there because down here in South Florida is getting absolutely crazy and busy when it comes to food service and I just want all the new drivers out there to hang in there don't give up don't quit you're gonna make great money it's no debate what trucking industry is paying the most in South Florida you deliver fuel you can do this you can do that I don't want to hear it like <clears throat> We make so much money, sometimes we don't even got time to spend the money. You know what I mean? So, whatever. Like, that is not a debate. Um, so, I mean, I'm talking about down here in South Florida. I'm not talking about nowhere else. I know the industry down here. I know what the fuel company pay. I know that most of them are cheap. Shout out to Love's. They're the better company of um, these fuel companies. They actually pay good. Um, my boy just got on with them. But I know what the rest of them pay. I know what the LTL companies pay. I see drivers from LTL companies camping out under the tree, trying to get extra overtime because that's how they make money. Um, I see the, the Walmart, they should be ashamed. Their pay scale has been the same for years. Um, Costco pay really good, but the hours is just not there. Beverage company. You name it. We're winning when it comes time to making money. And I'm talking about all of us as in every single food service company, right? And before I get out of here, we're hiring. So anybody that want to come over to um, Cheney, especially veteran drivers. If you're a veteran driver at your food service company right now, you want to come over, reach out to me. Let me put you in the right seat. Right. Appreciate y'all for watching this whole video. Um, if you will watch this whole video, you got to this point. Put in the comment below hashtag RLCTV, and um, just put that, and I see that you watch the whole video. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.